Hello Reddit, this is Dan, aka uh, Solid Whetstone. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick video on the dashboard in Reddit Enhancement Suite. Because a lot of people are asking, what is the dashboard? Why does it matter? What's it, what does it do? What can I use it for? Um, the dashboard was an idea that Honest Bleeps and I came up with over steak um, in Chicago while we, the first time we ever met actually. Um, and we were discussing the problem of the there's two main ways to access content on Reddit. It is through the front page and through your all and uh, r slash all. And the problem is that you can't really narrow in on the content that you want to see. It's pretty chosen pretty algorithmically, and um, we came up with the idea of the dashboard to kind of customize the type of subreddit content that you get through the use of multi-reddits and individual subreddits. And we also, it evolved, the idea evolved and, and we added in other features such as inbox and um, mod, mail, and things like that. So uh, what I'd like to do first real quick is show you redditenhancementsuite.com. This is the screen we're looking at right now. Uh, as of this screencast, it's 4.1.0. 4.1.1 is coming out very soon, um, within the next day or two, I think and that's going to be a lot of bug fixes but there's going to be no change to the dashboard so what I'm going to show you right now is not going to change from this version till the next till probably another major version or so okay we're on the dashboard page if you notice we're on r slash dashboard this is an actual subreddit that exists r slash dashboard exists and reddit enhancement suite overlays this subreddit with functionality that you can use um, so we, we thought that was kind of a cool way to to handle this instead of plugging it somewhere we actually just put it in a, in a subreddit. Um, okay so as you can see where we landed on this my dashboard page this is where all your custom content is empty right now but this is where all your custom content is gonna go. We also have two other pages um, these are your user tags um, and you can see I've tagged a bunch of people that I know um, I hope I don't get in trouble for some of these tags. Anyways, um, and then you have uh, the subscriptions, which I subscribed to a thread in r slash enhancement. And you can see that I have the ability to renew it. Right now the subscription is going to sub uh, expire. And if I click renew, the it notifies me that it's been renewed. Um, it will expire in two days and the expiration date has has changed. Um, and there's okay. The view images is for the dashboard. User tags you're able to sort based on uh, based on username, based on color, based on vote weight. It's really cool. So uh, nice little way to look at all of your user tags. This was um, pretty highly requested feature. So um, pretty excited that it's out now. But we're really mainly here to talk about the dashboard. Um, you can see you have three buttons here mail widget, user widget, subreddit widget. I'm going to start with the mail widget. You have the ability to take any of your mail options and add it as a widget. And it looks like I've got some comment, uh, comment replies. Um, you have the ability to, you can view uh, up here in the top left, this is the name of the widget or where it's coming from. Um, you have the ability to refresh the widget, refresh all, so when you have multiple widgets on there, and then the ability to add rows. So in this case, it's going to add an extra row that you can see of your inbox. Um, you can also reduce rows until you're back down to just one row. There you go. And you can minimize and close. Okay, that's the basic functionality of a widget. Very simple to use. I also have a user widget which I can just put my own username in here if I want. Really useful if there's a certain user that you want to follow. Um, you can see that I commented in art, I commented in rum, and enhancement. Um, maybe I want to check out what Honest Bleeps is doing. Looks like he's frantically commenting away in enhancement. So. Now another nice thing about the dashboard is I have the ability to click and drag and move widgets 
around. You have to drag it. You have to grab this light gray area up here. Um, it won't let you know. It'll, it'll select the text if you grab there, but you can just move it around, and I'm shuffling my widgets around. You can do the same thing if they're minimized as well. So this kind of helps for organization. I can see there's me. There's honest bleeps. I can move that around pretty easy to organize stuff around. All right, we've gone through these two. This is the real bread and butter of the dashboard, and it's the subreddit widget. The subreddit widget allows you to add a widget to monitor an individual an individual subreddit or multi reddits. So we're going to do enhancement. You can see that it's got an auto complete, which is kind of nice. So we're going to select enhancement. I can also just remove it if I want. Uh, rest issues and I'll click add. Now what I've created is actually a multi reddit of those two subreddits and now I can see posts from both of those and it looks like the, uh, there we go. So I can see this, uh, let's see, so this post is from enhancement but this, these two are from rest issues. So that's how that works. And I can add a few more rows if I want. Now let's say that this is a slow moving subreddit. I can click new and all of my settings here are going to be saved. So if I come back here, I'm going to have this module. It's going to be open. These two are going to be closed. It's going to be set to new. So all of this, all of this that you're doing is saved um, in your settings and you don't have to worry about when you close it, am I going to have to reopen my modules, uh, my widgets? Um, you know, am I going to have to collapse or open them again? Am I going to have to set anything else up again? The answer is no. It's all going to be the same way that you left it. There's a maximum of 10 rows. We just did that. It's a design decision so that, you know, if you want to view more than 10, you might as well just go to the subreddit. This really is designed to give you bite sized information of subreddit content. So let's say I wanted to look at art and I want to look at design and I want to look at crappy design and I want to look at crappy art. Put those in a subreddit, multi-reddit that is. And you can see that if I mouse over here I've got all those four. Add a few rows. maybe just move these guys to the top and I can just scroll down so I can add an, basically an unlimited number of subreddits and multi reddits just add another one uh, what the fuck and it, I can also discover other ones so here's WTF stock photos Why? Well, maybe I didn't know that existed I actually did know that existed but uh... Let's just see. Let's see if there's any funny subreddit. Funny signs. Okay, I didn't know that existed. So we've just created a multi-reddit, and now I can click view images and see <laughs> a bald man sucking a wiener dog's face. Really great. And this is why we go to Reddit. Uh, okay, um, that is I think everything you need to know about the dashboard. It is sort of what we're kind of dubbing the third front page. So you have front, you have all, and you have the dashboard. The front lets you combine, you know, algorithmically combines all of your subreddits together. All obviously shows you everything on Reddit all at once. And the dashboard lets you get really, really specific about what you're looking for. You know, I want just these, this one subreddit or just these three subreddits, and then I can view, um, view the content from just that those little bite-sized pieces and mixing in you know user um, information or your inbox so hope you've enjoyed this uh, screencast hope it's been enlightening for you uh, go to redditenhancementsuite.com to uh, download reddit enhancement suite also make sure to subscribe to r slash enhancement and if you've got any issues whatsoever with with Reddit enhancement suite you can leave your issues in res issues um, r slash res issues thanks a lot take care